Hey all, in this video we are going to graph some spicy irrationals. So we already graphed rational transformations. Let's go ahead and graph some spicy irrationals. Why not? Why not? Right now. Alright, so here we go. Let's go ahead and um, identify all the asymptotes first. So let's go ahead and factor everything first. So I'm going to do, show my work over here to the right. So let's go ahead and start. So we have x plus 4. So we have x plus 4 and then at the bottom we're going to have uh, x minus 4 and then x plus 1. So the vertical asymptotes will be at uh, x equals 4 and x equals negative 1. A horizontal asymptote, we have a bobo, it's bigger on the bottom. So we're going to have a horizontal asymptote y equals 0. Let's go ahead and plot that. So remember you plot asymptotes using dashed lines. So we have one at x equals 4, so something like this. And then at x equals negative 1. So there is our asymptotes. Um, now what we have to do, y'all, just kind of sucks. Basically what we have to do is just plug in one or two points in every single region and just graph and follow graph by following the asymptotes. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm just going to graph one point in each of the regions. Uh, like this is this will be like region one, region two, region three. Split up to, uh, split up using the vertical asymptotes. So in region one, that would be anything less than um, negative one here. So let's plug in negative two. So if I plug in negative two into our, our, uh, our expression, we're going to have uh, negative two plus four. That's going to be two at the top over uh, negative six times negative one. So that's going to be one third, positive one third. So here's one, let's say one third is like right here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to follow the asymptotes kind of like this. You know what? That would be good enough for me. And now we're going to choose a point in the middle. So let's pick. Go, let's go ahead and pick zero. So we're going to have um, zero plus four. That's four. And then negative four times uh, one. That's going to be negative four. So we get zero comma negative one. So we're going to have something like this. So do you see how I'm following the asymptotes? Going through my point, but following the asymptotes. All right, and now uh, th for three, um, let's see. We're, we're just going to plug in anything greater than four. So let's plug in five. So this is going to be nine over uh, five min minus four. It's going to be one. And then uh, let's see. This is going to be five plus one, which is six. So this is going to be one and a half. So we can put a point right here. Let's go ahead and just follow the asymptotes we'll have something like this. So this will be perfectly acceptable for, uh, for my class. So the domain and range is just going to be everything but the asymptote. So let's go ahead and write that. The domain is going to be x is an element of the reals, but it's not equal to negative 1 or 4. Uh, y is the element of the reals, and it's not equal to 0. So let's go ahead and try another one. Go ahead and try another one. So here is one, uh, and we're going to do this one as well. So let's go ahead and start with our a vertical asymptote, if you set the bottom equal to zero, um, you can see that we're going to have an, a vertical asymptote at negative two. And we're not going to have a horizontal asymptote because it's bigger on top. But since it's bigger on top by only one, we will have a slant asymptote. So let's go ahead and find out what that's going to be. So we're going to have x plus two divided by x squared plus three x minus one. So x goes into x squared x times multiply x squared plus 2x subtract down you get x minus 1 you go plus 1 you x uh, plus 2 here and so we are left with negative 3 so here's our slant asymptote y equals x plus 1 so all we have to do is plot both of these um, so let's go ahead and plot uh, x equals negative 2 something like this and then y equals x plus 1 so here's uh, that something like this so there's our slant asymptote as you can see it's a slanted line um, so now we just have to plug in a couple points in uh, each region so we have the x region here and a region over here so let's see what happens let's plug in a number that's less than negative 2 so let's do negative 3 so we're gonna have 9 uh, let's see minus 9 minus 1 I'm just plugging in negative 3 into the original function and then we're going to have negative 1 here. So this is going to cancel. We're going to end up with positive 1. So here's negative 3. And we're going to have something like this. See how I'm just following the asymptotes. So 
I know it's not perfect, but just really follow those asymptotes. And then uh, over to the right, let's plug in zero, why not? So let's see, we're gonna have uh, negative one over two. So zero is gonna be at negative one half. So here's one, it's negative one half. So we'll have something like this. Yep, and there is our graphed function. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully uh, you know how to graph spicy rational functions now. And that's gonna be it. I'll see you in the next video.